Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Angela, the Traveling Crafter. And I have had this sitting on my desk for a while and thought, what am I waiting for? This is the perfect time to uh, whip through this. I should have done it a long time ago. But these are some makes that I did from the Give a Scrap Challenge. And it is still going on. You can tag someone that you give a scrap about and make something with your craft or your scraps. And whether you're a YouTube creator or you have social media, or even if you go to the Maker's Market, which is a community where we buy and sell items, but more so a place for us to connect and show our work and just have a good time together. So I'm going to quickly go through this. I didn't, I wasn't able to complete every single project, uh, but I did do a few of them and uh, I will go through what I created and hopefully I remember and I or I wrote down everybody that um, that participated and that I was able to to do the little makes. So as you might remember, I used some um, what are these called? Uh, the coffee sleeves that go around a a coffee cup to keep your hands from getting burnt. So this is just a little gift card pocket with a magnet. Uh, this one I don't think I did. This is just a mini journal. I did this a long time ago, um, but I had those out. And so I wanted to show those. One that I really loved, and um, that was Sierra from Cooley Craft Corner. It was her... Um, Butter projects. And so she had used, now I don't have the really pretty butter package that I think it was like mother's butter or something like that. Uh, but I did have these. And so I saved a couple of them and just whipped up some really quick uh, little tags and um, little notebooks and such. So that was fun and um, exciting. Now I can put those away. Uh, let's see. This one I did. I did these. No, I did this one at the end, and that is where I use the netting from uh, fruit bags like oranges, limes, avocados, onions, etc. So there is that. Those are the ones I did, and then Sierra's. This one is a tea bag. Uh oh, who did the tea bags? Marcy. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, Bex at Black Whisper Crafts. So these were a couple of the tea bags that I had. And then I altered and made them into little mini pockets. Goodness. This one I did. Um, this was uh, Trudy. And I did these on a live. And um, she was using little pieces of lace and... Uh, some fun little layering pieces just to make kind of a sampler, if you will. So I really liked those as well. Uh, this one was uh, from Diane at Pen Pretty Pink Cottages. I did these two, and she was using these shapes to make things. And so uh, I think she had hers, I think hers were die cuts. Uh, but I didn't have any die cuts, because you know, I don't die cut very often. Uh, so these uh, I kind of emulated with what I had on hand to make little tags as well. And Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic, I believe, she... Did she do... She did ruffles. Did I do ruffles? Oh, I have ruffles right here. I do indeed. I do indeedy. Um, and look, they're lavender. Aren't those cute? Very, very cute. And though these are my Kool-Aid dyed papers. And then I just had these little ribbon ro or rosettes, some lace, and um, whipped those up. So everything was so easy to do. They were fun. They were innovative. I need to go back. There is a playlist on my channel called Give a Scrap. And it has everybody's plus everyone who was tagged. I probably need to do another search and add some more folks in there. But um, 
I, give it a try. Go check them out. Feel free to tag anyone. You don't have to wait to uh, get you know, tagged at all. One of the things that I really liked were um, Kara at uh, Paper Confessions with Kara Mia. And she did a, um, she used a Kleenex box and she took the window of the Kleenex boxes, which had like the long ones, and then uh, used that as her frame. So adorable. I didn't have any. So I couldn't, I didn't do that. But um, this is from Hazel. And it's also uh, an homage to Trudy as well, Trudy Craig. Hazel at Hazel and Naka Design and Trudy Craig. This behind here is old dryer sheets and I that I had um, dyed. And then this is um, what Hazel did as well. And isn't that, or similar to, um, but just using scraps and pieces and layering. And I used some of this from the chenille. Uh, so very fun. Uh, let's see. Miss Marcy did uh, little tea cards. And I guess, didn't she do tea cards? Altered tea cards, I thought. Mini tea cards. Um, but I just used some of these to make little tags. So uh, that is what... I came up with, you know, and the thing is about all of these is you just use what you have. If you don't have the same thing as someone else, then no worries, not to worry at all. Um, and you know what? It was, it was Debbie who did a little, she took a little Debbie box and altered it into a journal. It was so, so cute. I loved it. Um, and then I also used some old packaging and this I think is the old yes this is uh old packaging and do I have another one that's old packaging ah, I thought I did but Lori at Enchanted Dream 71 did uh used old packaging and then uh Julie at Camellia Craft Designs did this octagonal uh design and I didn't, uh, she had like great big ones. I do not. So I just took them and made them like you would a quilt pattern. Uh, this is an Edith Holden uh, book page and just added a little tag in there. And it turned out super cute. And then who did, I think it might've been Bibi. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, friends. Uh, she did a scrap jelly roll or... Um, I call them jelly rolls, uh, but just using fabric. And so I did that one as well. What else do I have in here? Oh, I also did um, altered keys. So here is one with the dangle, and here is the other one. There we go. This one's going off to a friend. And this one I will keep in my collection. Um, but those are some of just a few of the things that I have picked um, and had time to actually finish. My world got really busy really fast. So um, hopefully I'll be able to go back and do some more of these and then come back and show you some of, of those uh, projects as well. Uh, but if you haven't checked it out, I would highly encourage you to do that. Uh, very, very fun easy projects for anyone uh, at any level. And um, uh, I hope you give it a go. I'm a little nervous because I just had an alert on my phone and I'm not sure that this whole thing actually worked. We shall see, I might be doing this again. So friends, until next time, remember to take time to just be, I appreciate each and every one of you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, remember to take time to just be. Cheers.